Mubarak. If you're one of the many Muslims celebrating Eid al-Fitr in our community today, this is a greeting you've already been using most of the day. Yet for many of those less familiar with the holiday or its traditions, you might be wondering what all the celebrating is about. We're being joined today in the studio by a local Muslim family, Tuniza Islam and her children, Amiri and Zaki. They're joining us to share some of the meaning behind today's celebration and tell us what we need to know to celebrate with them. Welcome and Eid Mubarak. Thank you. And Eid the Mubarak. name of the day, did I get that anywhere close? Yep, Eid al Fitr. Okay, yep. well, I was not quite. <laughs> you <but> were close. <laughs> so let's talk about what that means really as a holiday. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, Christians' biggest holiday is Christmas. Similarly, for Muslims, this is our biggest holiday. Um, and we celebrate it after a month of fasting from sunrise to sunset, um, which billions of Muslims are doing worldwide. And we come together today to dress in our best and have gifts and have a good time. So, Amiri, tell me what your favorite thing about this holiday is. My favorite thing is that we get our presents and we get to open lots of gifts and we get to eat really good food. Those all sound like great things. <laughs> so that is actually one of the really important parts and important traditions of the holiday. So maybe we can talk a little bit in a little bit of a general term of some of the practices really common for this day and for celebrating. Yeah, so we start the day by having communal prayer. Um, and this morning we met at the Sanford Pentagon, probably had about a thousand folks who showed up for prayer. And then after prayer is done, we hand out a little envelope like this uh, with money to little kids um, that we know who have tried really hard to fast and then we have breakfast um, there's a whole group of people meeting at different restaurants in town or people's homes and then we go home and take a nap open more gifts and then eat some more <laughs> So um, let's look at this one more time because I think we weren't quite on camera when it says this is an example of the envelopes that you hand out to the kids that we're yeah. trying really hard because it's not an easy thing to do. Right. No, it's not an easy thing to do to fast during the month of Ramadan. So Zaki, tell me a little bit about what the most significant part of this holiday is for you. Well, we fast 30 days and then we fast 30 days from sunrise to sunset and then we feel closer to God. And then after that, we celebrate with family and friends. Is that sometimes hard to do at school? Yeah, because at school, everyone's like drinking water and at lunch, it's like my favorite time of school is lunch. And then I just put my lunch tray out in the middle of the table and then whoever wants my food can have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure though a lot of times your friends will ask you questions too and it's a good opportunity to share some of what's important to you and some of the practices that are really important, right? Yep. So as we've come out of Ramadan, I know it can be it can be a challenge and we've talked to you before about some of the ways that a community can be more helpful and, and more inclusive, right? Not yeah. scheduling those lunch meetings during <laughs> Ramadan or just being a more inclusive community. What are ways that in this Eid celebration that the community can also be part of celebrating or part of celebrating or just at least being helpful, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. So the best way to wake up was what happened to me this morning is I had a lot of my non-Muslim friends send me a text that said Happy Eid or Eid Mubarak is a greeting in Arabic. So that's always really nice just to feel like they know that it's our holiday and they know that we've fasted for 30 days, which can be difficult but rewarding. Um, and then in school, you know, um, some school districts across the country do have Eid off for a day, a holiday. So Muslim some kids can celebrate with their their family and not have to worry about missing a test or testing or school work that day. Um, but unfortunately here we don't, so we called in and explained that it was our holiday and we were going to take the day off. And so that's, you know, and in terms of work at South Dakota Voices for Peace, we actually have Eid off as a holiday. So, and a bunch of the staff came to prayer this morning with me to observe and we had a lot of fun. We do talk about that sometimes when you're not in the most predominant practicing religion in a community you live in, mm -hmm. 
you're not going to have the same like luxuries of days off on the days that you want to celebrate, right? Yeah. You're you're you'd be fine working on Christmas Day, right? Yeah. Yeah. So having those different things and having to kind of like navigate systems sometimes yeah. can be a challenge. And so that's why talking yeah. about it more and more is important, right? Well, everything mm -hmm. down to getting presents, you know, like think about how much time you take during Christmas to get all the right presents, you know, to wrap them up. And when we don't have time off from work um, or school, we have to kind of cram that all in during the weekends when we're fasting already anyway. So yeah, there's a lot of luxuries that religions who are not in the majority don't have. And it's just really nice for people to really start Start thinking about that. So Mary, what was your favorite present so far? My parents bought me this really cool new Lego set. <laughs> that sounds like a good one, right? So how can community members be more involved even going forward in future years? Because I think, like you've said, you had a lot of people join you today. Mm -hmm. Some people who aren't maybe as familiar might not think that it's something that they would be welcome to join. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you have a Muslim friend um, and you'd like to go and observe prayer, it is open to all. But it may feel uncomfortable because you don't know what the right practices are. If you're ever interested in going to prayer, you can absolutely call me and I'd love to take you. We have two main holidays every year. And and the next one will be Eid al-Adha, which will be in about two and a half months. So Eid just means festival. And Eid al-Fitr means festival of feasts because we fasted, so now we get to eat again. Um, and yeah, I think just learning about the religion and, you know, if you're an HR director or have lots of people in your workplace or at your schools, maybe consider that when you're scheduling testing or scheduling other exams or pop-up quizzes or whatnot, depending on how many kids you have in your class. A great example, I think, of community pe communities coming together and learning more about people that are different than them in any way and then being upstanders in, in situations where they can too and saying something also like, hey, did anybody think about this holiday, yeah, right? Absolutely. A lot of opportunities to celebrate and be be grateful to have such a diverse community yeah. that we can all share. And so, uh, let's see, Eid Mubarak. Am I saying that right? I'm going to say it back. Mm. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. <laughs> yes, well, I do say that with um, so much. I'm so grateful that you were able to join us. Yeah, and I'm happy thanks for that having us. Ramadan now is over, and we can celebrate with breaking the, fe the fast <laughs> and feasting and yep. all fun things. So back thank to you. lunch dates. Back to lunch dates. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Ashley.